Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Totoy. So this can even be run as support. You get that early shard. You get that uh, plus seven armor just naturally. <laughs> yeah. So, and he took the arrow already. So he's, yeah, he's not getting out of here. He's going to get stunned up. Follow up stun connecting from PP and... That's about as easy as he's going to lose the trades, as you see him right now just getting beat up on, and oh, they he's might dead. actually finish, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you, you said it too well before that play even started, KMI. I mean, you, you feel like your ogre match is his boy. I want to I see these people fight. Uh, actually, Caillou is in a bit of a rough position all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Trapped inside Asking the shards. Shall receive, I wanted blood. And the cut will give it. Vol gets another kill. He's gotten all the kills. He's three. Pango's going to do a decent job at keeping these uh, waves to, uh, pushed in, but he's not going to be nearly as good at this as the Titan under Will. Once he has level six, he can punish some dives. Sebast is in some trouble. Yeah, that... Like, he just goes down. That was kind of awkward. I mean, Slayton, well done, right? He's, he's got... trying to hold off the rune, but Pango just walks in and denies it. Then they lose Sebas, and he should have enough leap charges to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough. They do just have yeah. to let it go. Cat, you, I don't know if you want to do that. Yeah, hello. Welcome to a team fight. Unfortunate mm -hmm. TP. Yeah. They're positioning like they want to take this tier two, and they did some damage to it before, you know, they the kill. Is, why did he turn around anyway? He's oh. going to grind him anyway. Yeah. This is a, a dead drow ranger, a very dead drow ranger. Boy. Well, he tried for the gust at the end there, and technically it hits, but. Doesn't do that warning. He's going to push his way forward. He does still have Ravage. No real damage to follow it up with, but okay. They'll let it fly. There's the arrow. Is that enough? They need to hit harder. PP is not dead yet. But they will finally bring him down. He got the rolled in and didn't actually get his teammate in the snowball. So now he's just stuck too, and they, they hand over an extra kill. Bull just got baited. So Sebas goes another. first, and Bull thought he was alone. Now he's kind of trapped up here. They don't take him down all that quickly, but now that they're through the cloak charges gonna go a little bit faster oh, focus taken no. down and oh be god okay that looked a little rough at the start but with scourge and pinky coming in on the back line maybe it turns into a little bit more oscar no ravage for this fight so he's just trying to dish out what damage he can but it's not much and the cut do swing that their way with the two for one they punished this uh this aggression from infamous at kind of a rough timing for them they're looking you. to do it again are just brutal. Jumping in there, Sebus gets taken down. At this point, Sebus maybe just wants to stay out of the river for the rest of this game, but his teammates are here to pick up the slack. They will take down the Leshrac. They get the vision onto the Tusk, and they'll take him down as well. Kataro gets two of those three kills, so your Drow gets a nice fight. He's gonna... No, he's not. He's gonna back off. His teammate, though, didn't get the memo. PP's in trouble. Pops the Bloodstone, but he's stuck in a 1v5, and he does not win that one. Taken down right away, and now there can't be a fight. They just don't have enough as Pingu. That is a very bold TP, and he's going to get away Ooh. with it. Okay. Unbelievable. He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> None of this incredibly for a wolf. Oh, man. A very slow <laughs> wolf that somehow TPs out and very slow there, but he does eventually hit it, and they're going to try and make something happen here. B-God is very slow. I think he's going to go down, but Scourge is in. They're going to try to hit up Kataro. Can they take him down fast enough? Not quite yet, and maybe not at all, actually, as... Yeah, this is not looking good. Infamous are just turning this around. Scourge finally gets his ult back up. He will pop it now. Still trying to stay on the Drow Ranger, but he's just getting kited around. Bigod, though, is back into the fight after the buyback. Gets the Walrus Punch off, and Kataro still not dead. Nobody's able to finish him. He's going to fire away with the multi-shot from the high ground, and he's this. still living. <laughs> this is a disaster for the cut mm. that falling apart. The losing the bird's about to lose gold as well. Oh. oh. Add you and Sladen. Yeah, that's that's maybe a little bit too ambitious there. That is the entire enemy team, but Sebas is coming in. Oscar walking his way forward as well, holding the Ravage for as long as he can here, but they really do want Scourge. Look at Sebas just chasing all the way to the west. They are hunting that Sven, trying to keep him stunned up so he can't BKB. They are actually doing a pretty damn good job of it, but Snowball does come in. So, Scourge, able to pop the BKB, able to pop the ult, but where's his backup? They're all dead. Nobody's here to actually save him, and he's going to fall. Those three heroes just like that. Things aren't looking so good for them. The waves are uh, jumping in. Got behind them. Okay, Scourge, what do you got? Who can you hit? Well, they, they kind of get hit first. That's, oh, that's not what they wanted. B-God's already dead. He bought back in the last fight, so he's not available. But uh, Scourge, did he, he already popped his ult. He's got to go. Yeah. They're going to try and make something happen onto the Marana. 
That's not really going fantastically at this point as Sladen's just sort of hopping around. And now Scourge is going to run out of time on his BKB in just a second or two. So he has to back off, but the Ravage is going to catch him out. They got Vol with it as well. So they're just going to run directly at their opponents. Kataro picks up the Ultra. Uh, where is PP? He is out of the base. Can they give him the where Ravage? Where is PP? <laughs> Rampage? Rampage. Rampage there. That G got called GG after that. The American Dream is in shambles right now. If this. I think it was the Rampage. It would be like amazing in the scenario. Maybe they're thinking of uh, a Templar Assassin? Oh. He can try. Mm. Right. Well, now Slade is the only Slade one might be the one who's in trouble. That's yeah. a turnabout right there. He's silenced up. Does he have time for a shackle? Yes, he does. Still dies, though, as Pingu gets first blood. Basically, void under T. Supports rotate in on the six minute spawns, and it should go Sebus's way. Nope. Pingu says, uh uh. Just gonna deny this. It's almost certainly gonna cost him his life, though. That glimpse is just a little mistimed, so the Ava still hits, and Sladen gets a. He's a traitor. <laughs> Bottom lane, B God ends up uh, having his tree cut on him when he tried to hit uh, the faces void with the acorn bushwhack combo. It looks like they're gonna get punished for this. Yeah. Sebus rotates in. They got the first kill. Can they get the second? Should get it with the toss and. Okay. Yeah. Sebus rotates in, grabs a double TP. It's looking like it might just be the build you were sort of saying all the leanists kind of go for, right? Boots of travel. I guess technically he stopped for a Falcon Blade first, but should look pretty similar here as Pingu. Getting himself a little bit caught in the woods. He does go down, but Scourge and PP are both here. Does he have rupture? Scourge. People love playing Ogre Magi. Shout out to my man, Charlie Tizard. <laughs> I mean, uh, listen, it's better than no Bloodlust, I guess, technically speaking, but not really all that important is Oscar. That's a little bit more important, though. Kept trying to get that push going in the top lane, a little greedy after taking the tier one, and does that open up this push, though? With Oscar here, maybe. We gotta keep that last creep alive, but at this point, they're looking for the kills instead. Chrono gonna be deployed. Does he have a route through the trees? Well, cut down the trees, and you don't have to worry. The Ravage follows... Okay, that's going to keep them going, though. They take down Volley and B God. Now PP is in trouble. They toss Sladen onto oh him. Body blocks God, in. No disgusting. shackle, but they don't need it. Oh. Pingu, I don't body think... Block. The belt. I would say it's not so bad for the cut. Yeah, you could see uh, <laughs> Sebastian was positioning himself in such a way where he was hoping to find somebody else once they realized it's just Pingu there. He ends up blinking onto him. Let's that kill. Oscar ends up claiming it, though. A little bit for the ogre play, but he hasn't died yet. He's 2-0 and 5 on this ogre, so he has played about as efficient as a game as you possibly can on the ogre, which is exactly why he is about to die. Oh. I uh, jinxed it. Cat you goes down. His teammates, though, are looking for a return play, but this is a bit of a rough one. They do pop the Ravage, though. Sladen actually comes in. He was able to pick up the shard, so that's going to disrupt this lineup. Scourge is now all by himself. They do pick him off. PP's able to salvage some sort of kill there on to the Wind Ranger. Maybe they can get Oscar too? Uh-oh. That's a problem. Chronosphere is going to be deployed. Vol trying to stand on the edge. Can he do anything? No, he can't. As PP goes down, the support's now caught out by the Avalanche into the toss combo. For a brief moment there, Neff. It looked like maybe the cut were going to be able to do something. They're going to try to go on PP. This Gale Force is... Scourge is getting hit up here too. Yeah. Not dead yet though. Popped the rupture and Se Sebes can't afford to move. Somebody's got to help him. Katyu's going to come in looking for the stun play. Static Storm is still deployed for Pingu though, but I don't know if that's enough damage by itself. Baldo rebounds in. They will find that kill, but now can they get themselves away? Kataro was able to catch out PP up to the north. Did have to pop the Chronosphere for it, but that is going to start turning the fight. B got dead. Pingu sniped out and... Well... It was a good. You get that shackle shot afterwards on him. Uh, Kill him before his BKB ends up popping, but. But Neff, right you know what spell could have been put on the tiny that would have given him some attack speed? Oh my god. You're right. Yeah, there you go. He moves here by me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, in terms of actual important, Dota Kataro gets picked <laughs> off. <laughs> picked off in yeah. the middle lane. Laguna used, and that's a big kill, but it may come at a bit of a cost, because Scourge, yeah caught farming in the jungle now they've got pingu with the shackle pp's gonna come over but they know he doesn't have laguna so there's a little bit of damage missing and oscar just doesn't care he doesn't give a damn look at him push forward pops the ravage connects onto only two but one of those two is pp oh she doesn't get her pkp off mm. 
Zebes is in for the Avatos combo. Bull is now going to pop his BKB. They're trying to force any fight that they can here, but no Scourge, no PP. There's no damage. Well, maybe Sebas still falls, but Vol is actually getting just completely caught out here. He'll rebound his way in to finally but get the tiny. Yeah. yeah. At this point, actually, they, they need to make sure they just don't get straight up jumped in on, because B-God is getting hunted. Slayton, meanwhile, caught out Pingu. He forces out the Static Storm again. And Pingu might not even really get away from this one. He does get a nice four step onto the no low TP. ground, but... Yeah. They can just chase him down. They find Jack the hero they Ooh. find. Wait, hold Here it on. Is. There we go. Still gets the Ravage off. Is that going to matter, though? He's pretty tanky. They do take the Wraith Pact out first, but that means Oscar lives, and here comes Kataro. They don't want to Chrono Vol, and they will not have to. Vol gets well, not taken down yet, actually. He's putting up a bit of a fight. There we go. Once the BKB wears off, the Bash is coming through, and... Kitaro finishes the job, but at least PP gets away. Scourge, though, is caught. Okay, no, he's the one doing the catching. Sebas did not really have Another his full combo. Yeah. Uh, can he still get away, though? There's the tree coming in. It's enough damage to kill him off. Scourge does not get away with that one. He will fall. Pingu now getting tracked down as well into his own base. There's another Static Storm. This one, though, might actually keep him alive. Never mind. Sebas says, nope. And the tiny finds another kill. And F, wasn't doing the damage reduction. Put your uh, put your NA Homer hat on for me here and tell me how the cut. How the cut win this? Yeah, how how do they do this? Uh, not, not like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down goes B God. Uh oh, PP. You might have to pop that BKB. He's trying to fight the wind, and he does manage to make it away. But this doesn't solve the siege problem. Their base is still under attack. Yeah, that was close. Sebastian's blink there got interrupted by the dragon slave that was on the ground. He almost managed to get on top of him and uh, toss Alina back to the tower there. Now he's hiding in the trees to stop them from... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. He does not have money for buyback. Chrono's going to catch three, and this one is looking like it might just be over. There's going to be Scourge taken out. Pingu will fall. Vol dead, too. Buyback came out from the hoodwink, technically, but B-God... Uh, Let him live! There's the GG. <laughs> if you're not gonna tap out, we're gonna farm your fountain, says Sebas, and... Well... That is a 2-0 sweep for Infamous, showing off with this new lineup.